Good morning and really good to see you today. Thank you for joining with us for our Easter worship. I'm going to hand right over to Dave and Ali who are going to lead us in our Easter shout as we celebrate all that Easter is about. Oh! Yeah, let's respond in an Easter shout. Kids, we want to hear you shout as loud as you can. Ready? Rejoice! There is great news. Christ! has risen! Christ is risen indeed. Let all the earth proclaim the joy. Let all heaven show forth in praise. Alleluia! Alleluia! Freeze! Hey, Frozen Dave and Ali, kids, in a moment I'm going to click my fingers and if there's adults in the room with you, they're going to be absolutely frozen still as well. Ready? Right, now, it's just you and me. I've got something really important to tell you. Come a bit nearer and listen very carefully. In a moment, a song is going to be played for the adults to listen to all about Easter. While that's on, I've got a really important job for you. What I need you to do is to run off to your bathroom and just bring back one sheet of toilet paper. Not two sheets, you just need one sheet of toilet paper. But at this point, we're not going to tell the adults what it's for, okay? Because we're going to do something with it in a little while together. So, do you think you can do that? When the music's playing, as soon as we unfreeze Dave and Ali, there'll be a song playing with some music, okay? And then, you need to go and get your toilet paper. So, let's unfreeze the adults in your room first. Ready? And then we're going to unfreeze Dave and Ali after three. Count with me. One, two, three. Unfreeze! Thank you, Dave and Ali, for your really good enthusiasm. I'm going to invite you to listen to a song, although the words will be on the screen, and if you want to sing with them, uh, you're welcome to do so. my mind to Calvary where Jesus bled and died for me I see his wounds his hands his feet my savior on that cursed tree Body bound and drenched in tears, they laid him down in Joseph's tomb. The entrance sealed by heavy stone, Messiah still.
The blazing sun shall pierce the night And I will rise among the saints My gaze transfixed on Jesus' face Let's pray together. And so Lord Jesus, we just wanna thank you that we gather this day on this Easter morning in your holy presence. As we come now, speak to us by your Holy Spirit, we pray, reassure us of all hope we ask. For we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. We're gonna sing a song together. I really love loads of songs and one of my favourites is, uh, as I'm about to tell you, uh, a song called Leap Up High. So you might need to get off your couch and join in with this one uh, with us. So we're going to do one of my favourite action songs. This is called Leap Up High and uh, we have to be stepping to the left, stepping to the right and when we get to the chorus we do the twist just like we did uh, in the old days. So maybe kids, are you ready down, ready to start? You kind of know how this goes. Follow the actions that are on the screen. Leap up high, for God is mighty. To the left, step to the left, for God is strong. Step to the right, oh yes, alrighty. Trust in Him, and you can't go wrong. We're gonna twist, He'll be your joy and your peace and your everything he'll be your life and your breath just sit down and think of him two three four one two three four leap up high for god is mighty step to the left for god is strong step to the right Oh yes, alrighty Trust in Him and you can't go wrong He'll be your joy and your peace and your everything He'll be your life and your breath Just sit down and think of Him Two, three, four, one, two, three for leap up high for god is mighty to the left step to the left for god is strong back again step to the right oh yes alrighty trust in him and you can't go wrong Let's pray again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can sing praise and song and worship to you. As we now come on this Easter day, help us as we hear your word to take it on board. And then as we think about what it means, help us to understand your truth. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. The day after the Sabbath day was the first day of the week. That day, at dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other woman named Mary went to look at the tomb. 
Suddenly an angel of the Lord came from the sky, and there was a huge earthquake. The angel went to the tomb and rolled the stone away from the entrance. Then he sat on top of the stone. The angel was shining as bright as lightning. His clothes were as white as snow. The soldiers guarding the tomb were very afraid of the angel. They shook with fear and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus, the one that was killed on the cross, but he's not here. He has risen from death as he said he would. Come and see the place where his body was and go quickly and tell his followers, Jesus has risen from death. He is going to Galilee and will be there before you. You will see him there. I want to thank Dave and Addy for bringing that reading to us. And I want to just spend a few moments with you now just thinking about the Easter story and its impact on your life and my life. What does it mean? Why, how does it make a difference to you? What is the message of Easter that is about changing and transforming our lives? In order to do that, kids, I want you to go and grab that piece of toilet paper that you went and got a little bit earlier during that song. And I've written the word sin on mine. Because I want this piece of toilet paper to represent your life and my life. I want you just to hold on to because there's lots of things. Hold on to that for a moment because there's lots of things in our lives that, that although we think they might be good, actually hurt other people and come between us and God. That's what sin is when we fall short of God's standards. And all of those things, they kind of like a bit crumpled up in, in, in our lives and, uh, and they're kind of there in the middle of our lives, aren't they? And we hold on to them. And it doesn't matter what we do, we cannot get rid of them. Katie's got that piece of paper in her hand now, as you can see to the side of me. And, and, and no matter what she does, she can't get rid of it. She can blow on it. She can do all sorts of things, but she can't get rid of that piece of paper. The Bible says, actually, the sin in our lives, we can't get rid of it. We can't do anything ourselves to be rid of that sin. So I guess the problem is, what is is the solution? Well, that's what Easter is, is all about, isn't it? I've got this cup here, this glass here full of water, uh, and it kind of reminds us that when we're born, we're kind of innocent and we're pure, but things happen in our lives that get a bit messy, that impact onto our lives. Let me stand to the side. You'll see that get really dirty then, won't you? All of those things in our lives become impure uh, and, 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 and dirty and, 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 and unclean. And, and we're like that on the inside. And the Bible says that we might look like great clean cups on the outside, but inside we're filthy and dirty. So how do we get rid of that? How do we let go of that sin that's in our lives? You know, maybe COVID-19 has got something to teach us here this week. Because one of the things that we're taught is about hand washing. Hand washing gets rid of the virus and the germs that are on our hands. And the Bible says, you know, to deal with the sin in our lives, we've got to be washed. We've got to be cleaned. We've got to be washed. How? Not because of anything we do, but we've got to come and be washed because of the cross. You see, when the cross is in our lives... When we ask God for forgiveness, our lives are transformed and they're made clean and they're made pure again because of what Jesus has done for us. And you know, we kind of hold on to our lives, don't we? We hold on to everything. We hold on to, to that sin. And, and, and this, this uh, handkerchief here might represent the piece of uh, paper that you've got in your hands that you're trying to get rid of. And, and, and it's there. It's in the heart of our lives. And yet, no matter what we do, we can't get rid of it. It's always there. We can't shake our sin away. But, you know, the Bible says because of the cross... That when we come to Jesus and when we ask for forgiveness, that what Jesus does is he takes our sin away. It is gone completely. It is not there. And that's what forgiveness is about. That's what the Easter story is all about. Jesus washes your sin away. He washes my sin away. He takes it onto himself 
so that we could be forgiven. And that's why this Easter reading, the hope, the empty tomb is there to remind us that God is able to forgive us because he's overcome death itself and therefore we can have new life. New life with Jesus. It's what the Bible offers to every one of us today. My prayer is that you will receive that new life, that faith and trust in Jesus Christ. So I invite you for a moment just to come and bow your heads with me. And as I pray, let's just think for a moment about our lives. As we think about the empty tomb. We want to say, Lord Jesus, thank you for your death and resurrection. For the hope that we have through it. Help us to apply that to our lives. To receive your forgiveness to be made clean inside and to be made anew. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We're in different ways about thinking about Easter and all that it means for us. And I guess for some it's been about whether the Easter Bunny's been and all of that. But regardless of uh, COVID-19, regardless of whether you've had Easter eggs or not, Easter has happened, the resurrection is here. And here's a poem that just reminds us that, that everything else can be stripped away when it doesn't stop but celebrating the good news that Jesus has risen from the dead. Twas late in 19 when the virus began, bringing chaos and fear to all people in each land. People were sick, hospitals full, doctors overwhelmed, no one in school. As winter gave way to the promise of spring, the virus raged on, touching peasant and king. People hid in their homes from the enemy unseen. They YouTubed and Zoomed, social distance and cleaned. April approached and churches were closed. There won't be an Easter, the world supposed. There won't be church services and egg hunts are out. No reason for new dresses when we can't go about. Holy Week started as bleak as the rest. The world was focused on masks and on tests. Easter can't happen this year, it proclaimed. Online and at home, it just won't be the same. Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, the days came and went. The virus pressed on, it just would not relent. The world woke Sunday and nothing had changed. The virus still menaced, the people estranged. Poo poo to the saints, the world was grumbling. They're finding out now that no Easter is coming. They're just waking up, we know what they'll do. Their mouths were hung open a minute or two. And then all the saints will all cry, boo hoo. That noise said the world will be something to hear. So it paused and the world put a hand to its ear. And it did hear a sound coming through all the skies. It started down low, then it started to rise. But the sound wasn't depressed. Why, this sound was triumphant. It couldn't be so, but it grew with abundance. The world stared around, popping its eyes, then it shook. What it saw was a shocking surprise. Every saint in every nation, the tall and the small, were celebrating Jesus in spite of it all. It hadn't stopped Easter from coming. It came somehow or other. It came just the same. And the world with its life quite stuck in quarantine stood puzzling and puzzling. Just how can it be? It came without bonnets, it came without bunnies, it came without egg hunts, cantatas or money. Then the world thought of something it hadn't before. Maybe Easter, it thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Easter perhaps means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, the store is not done. What will you do? Will you share with that one or two or more people needing hope in this night? Will you share the source of your life in this fight? 
The churches are empty, but so is the tomb, and Jesus is victor over death, doom and gloom. So this year at Easter, let this be our prayer, as the virus still rages all around everywhere. May the world see hope when it looks at God's people. May the world see the church is not a building or steeple. May the world find faith in Jesus' death and resurrection. May the world find joy in a time of dejection. May 2020 be known as the year of survival. But not only that, let Let it it start start a a revival. revival. One of the things as we think about Easter is about God's grace. And I want to ask you to sing this next song with us. It's titled, This Is Amazing Grace. Breaks the power of sin and darkness Whose love is mighty and so much stronger The King of glory, the King above all kings Who shapes the whole earth with holy thunder And leaves his breath Failing love 
hope you're bopping your feet along to that one. One of the traditions in the church is that we often will share the peace with one another, but we're on social uh, isolation at the moment, and social distancing, so we can't do that. So I want to encourage you, uh, as we close our service in a moment, to share the peace by picking up your phone and ringing three other people. They may be church members, it might be family, it might be friends. To ring them and just say to them, have a blessed Easter. And may you know God's peace at this time. And so I close with these words. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So as to remind you not to forget to pick up the phone and ring someone else, uh, we're going to play a song. Bill recorded a song with Mark all about Easter and the hope of resurrection. And so we're going to put this song on to the end of this video. And uh, that will give you time to go and find your phone directory or go and get your mobile out in order to ring other people as well. So you may get disturbed because your phone may ring as you're listening to this. But let's be peace and hope and strength to others. Amen. our King for all time.